It's time to kill that. Time to kill that. All right. So here we are, playing games again. Oh man, this is not how I was hoping this stream would go. But you know what? That's okay. Run a quick test. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Sorry for the, 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 the short delay. I was messing around with sound effects, and then I went ahead and plugged in my GameCube adapter, and guess what doesn't work right now? So, here we are, playing other games. New games that don't require controllers, because I don't have a controller as of right now that functions, except for, like, my Joy-Cons, but, yeah, you know. Here we are, doing the thing. Doing the thing that we do. Um, did we get started now? These are questions. These are very much so questions. How does the live scene look? It looks pretty good. Hmm. I do wonder if I can do this real quick. Change up my video settings. Graphics. Ah, display mode. Uh, windowed. Huh. There's not a windowed setting for what it is I want to do. Um, is there a borderless setting? I don't think there is. Man, this is... That, that's pretty tricky. Okay, um... Alright, I guess this is the way we're doing it. It'll be rough, but it's gonna work. Alright, and here we go. Three, two, one. Live scene. Quickly transition to game. Boom! There we go. We're playing the game, guys. Ah. Oh my god! Uh, why am I still here? Um, Time to act. How about no? I do think I could take on that boss, just not as of right now. All right, let's see what kind of things we can get down here. Ventures Guild. All right, let's go there. Pour myself a cup of tea. Runny, a little limestone, apparently. Right. Ah, there he is. Will this prescription really work? What's the matter, traveler? You've got great timing. I was just in a spot of bother. Here's the thing: you remember my younger sister Anna, right? She's always been sickly, and nothing managed to cure her. But here, there's an incredible doctor in the Ween Harbor who is especially skilled at curing the incurable. So I asked someone to help me get a prescription from him. The ingredients are all very unusual, but I suppose I could give it a shot. Let me see, could you find me a dendro process berry? There's such a thing? Okay. I have no clue either. Do dendrostrimes really eat berries? Either way, I'm counting on you. I do have a place where both slimes and berries may be found. Please help me take a look, and I'll help you find it. Um. All right, let's see where we're going. Right there, perfect. Actually, let's see which way. That might be a little bit faster. No, wait, no, it's not faster. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely the teleport to go to. Man, I'm so tired. I was. My plan for tonight was just to play TB Robo. But yeah, again, my, my controller just. It's going to be a while before it gets fixed, too. That's the part that bothers me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it by hand. I'm going to have to... Ow. How dare you. Ah, what a pain you are if I keep getting up there. Fine, we'll just we'll leave you there. Congratulations. You have the high ground. It's not worth swapping my whole team to kill a level one enemy. These are things I have learned. Let's 
see. We got some berries. We're looking for dendro slimes, apparently. Must be berries, but some are missing. Do dendro slimes really eat berries? Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. These are questions. Oh, look at all the slimes. Let's see, I could use you. Special uh -huh. E, vaporize and stuff. Body and mind. There we go. Take care of that guy one at a time. Body and mind. Rain outlines your face. Ah, uh, damn. You know what? I'm gonna have to change my team anyway. Mmm, that's upsetting. Really? What's going on here? I can't change my party in its current setting. There we go. Alright, we got a party sitting over here. Quickly deploy this one. Because we need some arrows. Try this out. There we go. Is that Dendros? Ha. Suka. take this back to the city get this teleport oh, come here. Um, have you found it yet yes is that it it really doesn't look any different However, if you look at it, this is just an ordinary berry. Forget it. Since the doctor's orders, let's follow the prescription to the letter. Thank you. This is for your trouble. I might need to bother you again in the future. When that happens, please don't decline. Cool. Commission done. Um, it's 200 adventure points. You can claim that one right there. It's another 100. Um... That's a lot of things to get done. Um, especially because we're still stuck on the main story. Oh no, that was the wrong button. Ignore that. But we can't do the main story yet. We're still two ranks too low. And then of course there's this one. Oh, we were, that's what I was doing. I was in the middle of this, no wonder. Okay. Out here doing story missions. Welcomes you. Man. Ooh. It's 
It's a little hot. Man. So I was in the middle of this mission last time, and then my brother was like, hey, you should come play this game with me now that you're rank 16. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? And then the multiplayer mode just, I don't know, it's, it's not that great. I'm not going to lie. It's cool. It's nice. It's not, you know, that bad, but it's not spectacular. You can do bosses together, but then you can only play as, like, one of, you know, one of your characters. It's, it's kind of bizarre. Oh, that's not right. Okay, there we go. In fact, let me go back to my original party setup here. There we go. So we're out here looking for the book thief. Looking for elemental traces or whatever. I don't see anything down here. So we gotta go climbing. Yay, the best part of Breath of the Wild. I don't know. I see people com like comparing this game to Breath of the Wild quite often. And like I get it. It has a lot of the same mechanics in terms of like, oh, you got to climb around this area if you want to find this thing or you know, stuff like that. But it's never anything like really like unique, I guess. Like I guess first quest just eliminate suspicious looking targets okay I thought I was searching for elemental markings like that one hmm. it's further than I thought quite the intrepid explorer our little thief maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell all right back to the search Is this mountain okay not really much of a mountain more like a, a gentle climb a gentle hill there we go I think that the uh, fighting mechanics in Breath of the Wild are just a tad bit more unique. Maybe that's part of the reason why I like it. There we go. Like, this game is good. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it very much so. I had enough time to get to level 16. Like, that, that says quite a bit, in my opinion. However... Mixing up control and all. Oh, there's a mark. Aha! There it is. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. The flow of magic. Talking about this flow of magic. Oh, 
man, they really stuck to the path here. With this flow of magic thing. Oh, wait. I take it back. I see. Race you. The thief lives inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. Mmm, the Abyss Order, Metric Guild, Hilly Churls? Stealing books is hardly the Hilly Churls style. Oh, they would use books for us to keep their campfire going anyway. They could steal a book for that. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Ooh. Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Amazing. We found ruins, guys. Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. Ruins. Ah, uh, level 19. Sure. It didn't have any recommended abilities, so we're just going to stick with the usual team that I go in with everything with. Because the damage is good. It's so much bigger in here than Paimon thought. Uh, do we really have to go all the way inside? If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions. Oh, look at that. Just a nice little random chest sitting there. I like little random chests. My senses. Oh. Them, them buttered popcorns. I can smell them. Those lasers meant to deter me because they're not very threatening. I'm just kind of making my way there, it feels like. Oh, wait, there's a chest. I want that. There we go. Awesome. Is that the only one? Yes, and it wouldn't appear so. That's a fun note right there. I'm a fan of it. That, that, yeah. Look at the lasers. Right through the lasers. No problem. No! Attack the Electro Sanctuary. It's just charge them and unlock the mechanism, of course. Steady as stone. Oh, that was not right. Okay. Hitting all the wrong buttons. Okay, these are what they're talking about. These are the Electro Sensors. Ah, come on. Oh! Yeah, that's totally a Breath of the Wall mechanic, if I've ever seen one. See. That's fun. Not bad, not bad. Ooh. There's 
just all these crates over here, though. Yes, potatoes and carrots. I'm not a fan of this combo. there's a time limit. I, I, of course I didn't see that there was a time limit. Um, let's see what the move here might be. Uh, well, I did like this. This is good. Thank God this ult is insane. Busted ults. Saves me every time. Oh no, I summoned another one. Come on, get out of here. Just wanted to do that for you. Seem to do the trick. How did you find this place? It's so well hidden! I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. There we go. You... you just want... The book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... 
Who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. Nice. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains the secret. Huh? Wh wh what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! P please don't! It's got a good sound effect going on right there. After using the ball of Alicia's patience, the Abyss Mage loses consciousness. So strong. Obviously. Hmm. Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Amazing. So the quest doesn't end. The, the, the search for the book continues. Even after destroying the Abyss Mage. Are there more enemies down here? No, it's just a treasure chest. Watch it be a mimic. It's the Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Paimon remembers that name. Is this the one you were looking for? That's the one. It's a good thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storage book. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? <laughs> There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. Oh, this is an go. exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me? Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? <laughs> I'll Good. Take extra special You're amenable to reason then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. There we go. Mission complete. Challenge complete. We got the book. All of the things. We can now leave the domain. Awesome. Pour myself another cup of tea here. I'm trying to stay awake if I can. I spent all of, uh, well, I woke up earlier than I usually do due to work. They were like, hey, we want you in at 6 or 7.45. So I had to wake up at 6.30 to take a shower and then do all the things. So it was one of those days. Let's see. Float my way over here. Oh, there's a ledge that could have killed me. The thing that really gets me, though, about. Well, like. Ah, oh, God. You! Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I just want to open the door. Oh, you've returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Amazing. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Uh. Look. The travel guide. Over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat Travel Guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take, take these, these souvenirs. souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs. 
Who is it? The cruel fact, sword? They were intended for our next outing. But never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. <sighs> I feel that. I, I am ready for bed. There we go. Boom. Act one complete. Quest completed. Uh, Alright, we got a new quest. You can improve your adventure rank by offering enemical slips to the statues of the world. Thank you. Um, I've been doing that. In fact, I've been doing exactly that. Time to act. Well, okay. You obtained one travel guide. Nobody knows what this does, but it's been done. Um, let's see. Can't do that one. We can do this one, though. On this clear and sunny day, you go for a walk to Springsvale with Paimon. Amazing. What a, what a fun little journey this will be. Sure is nice that we've already explored so much of the map. So now we're supposed to meet a little girl around here, apparently. We did it. I've been stolen. Oh, wait, hold it. I know this character. of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true. Are you a hunter? No, I'm a chef. Amazing. A chef gave me two wrong answers. I couldn't even answer properly. Exotic ingredients from all corners of the world. My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? I am Babatosh. Hello. Hello. My name's Paimon. Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature. Is it edible? Of course it is. Dig in. No, for the last time, <laughs> Paimon is not emergency food. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Guba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? I love that. <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? Sure. There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life, and I don't want to miss out. Oh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack. Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. You can always... <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Raw meat? Great! See, if anybody had anything to say about me just going around and opening up chests nonstop and be like complaining about that, listen here. This is why we do it. Are you ready? Boom. Raw meat. Slap that shit on the table. Wowie! This is great! Some of it I'll shallow fry, some of it I'll deep fry with mushrooms. Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with sign condensate. Oh, I moved my mouse. Yay! You have finally come around to my food preferences! Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. That's a cool looking, like, little thingy she has right there. I don't know if you see that, but it, it, I don't know. I like it. It's As cool. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh, gosh. This is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm. I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's Any condiments? Simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using support fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. And there's still plenty left. <laughs> Seems like I just can't help myself before. when there's a chance to try something new. 
But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think... What do you think you're doing? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. I technically did not hunt any of the boars in the area. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. It. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draff. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. What are we gonna do? I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. Let us come with you. Thanks, Despite the guys. fact we had nothing I'll to do with some this. some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! Alright. Cool. Easy mission. Now we can go to Springvale. I mean, we've always been able to go to Springvale. It's like right here. But. Now we can actually just, you know. Go over here. Do the thing. Do the very, very easy thing. There he is. Draft, how's it going? You must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Draft. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person... Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Uh, let's see. Violence is not the answer. Please, help me promote my meat. Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Hmm. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Amazing. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwe Harbor. Folk restaurant. She, he left out the word cuisine. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients. And I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... Uh, I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. Ah. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <laughs> Food cooked like that is destined to be boring. Period. Sure they are. Well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? Uh, it's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to, to change like, the way I approach oh, hey, cooking. Stokes. How's it going? Mm, what's that smell? So, it's gorgeous. My plan for today was to play um pretty tired right now. I feel that. I woke up probably earlier than I have in a hot minute due to work. And so Oh, that was the wrong button. Um yeah, so Hello? I woke up at 6.30 this morning, I'm like, oh my god, I haven't woken up to 6.30 in years. I've, oh, like, I've been waking up at like 10 or 11, so this is like three and a half hours less sleep than I'm used to. 
sorry. Did I get a new job? I've taken no. all the orders I can no, for I the next I'm few days. I'm working on it. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? At the moment, um, I actually went and talked to some people today, and they were like, well, we're waiting for the position to open up, but it, we'll stay in contact once it does. So basically, they have somebody on, and then as soon as he leaves, they'll let me know, and then I'll get an interview and all that stuff. But until then, here I am. Also, my, 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 my box, my box for my GameCube controller, it broke, and now I can't use it, and I gotta get a new one, which means I can't play half of the games I've been playing lately, so it's like, ah! Time to order a new one. <laughs> wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Yeah, good point. So, Why does Draft you know, it's, Wing it's, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a time. Lady? Hmm, maybe he feels that Mondstadt Cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's <sighs> biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Tomorrow's your first day in, of in-person teaching? Wow. Have, have they... So, so what's the deal with that? Are they just now, like, letting the schools reopen, or...? Sorry, but customer feedback like, Oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef... We are chef reopened. That... <gasps> nice. Hang on. Are you... That, we? Well, not nice. I mean, that, that's, that, that's, a, that's an iffy. That's an iffy one. I mean, we've been reopened here in town for quite some time now, and it's like, ah! Oh! But students don't have to come back if their parents don't want them to. Yeah, that's basically what we're doing here, but that's... Still, no. No, that's that shouldn't be the case. It's really you! Well, in my opinion. I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. I'm trying to remember... So tell me, how would you cook this? It's been re really real really 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 easy. Really, really, what? It's been really weird. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, that's cool. I, I wasn't sure if it was a new word well, that you'd invented. That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some chili. I don't know. Chili, Believe me, Florida's been no real cakewalk either. It's you know. We got DeSantis ruining everything and Cheese making and terrible flour? decisions and But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when Yeah, we got raw. so we got issues it would here. Overpower everything. I know. That's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. Anyway, yeah, that's I don't know. I'm like I just I need to leave. I need to get out of this place and then like go move somewhere else. I tried it before. If Although at this rate, the in oil and then cook it's looking like the overseas might be the best option. It gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyum chilies grown at Maybe. a high altitude, where the I don't know. I mean, like, okay, okay. I say overseas. I, I think I'd really struggle to live overseas, but like, I'm so sick of the states. <laughs> but I mean, you know, every everywhere else also has its just issues. So I don't know. It, it's 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 a lot. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender, freshly grilled steak, while also adding a floral aftertaste. Oh, this dialogue. Uh, that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop arguing. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off. Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wan Mean menu. With Amazing. a caption saying, This special addition to the Wan Mean menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meat expert. It's a deal! But yeah, no, I'm, I don't know. I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you all. Wait! Wait! Alright, come on. Let's try and catch up. Do I have to follow her again? Okay, no, I don't. Perfect. Sorry, this game is so dialogue heavy. I've been playing it a lot recently, um, not on stream. My plan was to not ever stream this game, but again, I, I wanted to stream tonight, and my plan for playing other games totally went to crap when I found out my uh, GameCube adapter was broken, so I can't use the controller I want to use. 
so here we are. Um, which, you know, this is a fun game. I just don't know if it's good for streaming purposes. You like this? Okay. I mean, it's a neat game. It reminds me of uh, Breath of the Wild a bit. At least in terms of, like, the environment and the aimlessly walking around for hours with, you know, just doing things. <laughs> you feel more invested in the characters than you usually do. Yeah, they do they do a pretty good job with the characters. The music is nice too. I'll give it that. It's funny, I've been listening to this new group recently. This new music group. Um well, I can't say they're new. Um, because I've, I've, I've known about them for a while, but I've only started listening to their music, like, more in depth recently, and it's a group called, uh, Negative Land. I don't know if you've heard of them. But their music is very bizarre, and it's hard for me to recommend to, like, pretty much anyone, in terms of the... Negative Land, yes. <laughs> but it's, it's the point where it's, like, very hard to recommend them to anyone, because... A lot of it is noise. Like, very bizarre noise. I don't know. I'd say go go listen to it for a bit. Um, what is it? The, the one that, I, that caught my ear most recently was a song called... Destroy Everything, I think? I'll send you a link later. But it's, it's a very... It's a song. <laughs> but it's it's the, the the chaoticness of it definitely helps me feel a little less chaotic in my own head sometimes. It's funny, I had the same relationship with a book I read in high school. I was going through a lot because I was like I think it was my it was either my junior or senior year. But I was like incredibly stressed out about like doing the musical I was in. I was like in the middle of college applications. Um, it really felt like things were just kind of falling apart in front of me because I was just so busy. And then a friend of mine recommended me this uh, this manga and he lent me like the first album or whatever. And the very first album, if I can remember correctly, or the very first book that he lo lo loaned me, it um, involved like, it's called Parasite. The name of the book is called Parasite. And it's about this alien that, like, falls down from outer space and literally attaches to this guy. And, like, starts making him shape, like, shapeshift and all this stuff. And, like, he just, he ends up, like, having to deal with a lot of problems. And I was like, you know what, I kind of needed this. I, I needed to watch somebody else, like, struggle more than I did to, to bring me back into a point of, like, okay, here we go. My life isn't that bad. I just needed I just needed a moment to I don't know, and sometimes like when I'm feeling like I can't gather my thoughts together, I'll listen to some very very noisy, somewhat chaotic music that basically supplements that that you know helps keep me intact. Uh oh, wait, I must be down here at the coast perhaps. Oh yeah, that's it. Hello. I think we're getting close. Have you decided what you're looking for yet? <laughs> of course not. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. Hmm. But that's so risky. Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Speaking Wami of cooking, restaurant. I made tacos the other day. They were delicious. Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Also, I noticed that the uh, the water that I have at, at my apartment complex is actually like just full. I'm like talking chock full of limestone. Because every time I boil water in my pot, it's just, like, coated in white, like, paste. 
Which, like, for me, it's not a big deal, you know. Minerals are good for you. Limestone, you know, included. But, like, every so often I have to make sure I scrub out the pot so that way I'm not, like, drinking chalk. But it makes good tea. I'm shocked. Check out those lotus heads! Look how fresh they are! There we go. More steak with lotus seeds? <laughs> this should be enough! Lotus heads! It's not every day you come to Liyue. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've been... Ouch. Okay. That's not okay. Get them! Rain outlines your fate. Oh, that's wrong buttons. There we go. Amazing. Oh, there's a birdie. Thank you. It is funny. So this game has like a bit of a cooking tutorial to it, which is super easy and like nobody should ever fail cooking in this game. But um, oh geez, I'm getting shot at. Ow. another voice lesson today and they, they've been going pretty well wow, getting an idea of Aww, that's such a cute name. The, the, yeah with Oakland. So, I'm getting more attacks. used to his Quite teaching style on like how to from what I've observed spicy food is a rarity in Monsat so this will be perfect go and pick some get a good handful yeah no, but I've been getting more like used to his teaching style I guess and like making like I, I understand like why people probably like have vocal issues with him sometimes, but I also understand like I don't know, he he's an angry teacher to say the least. That that's all I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. I still feel like we're lacking <laughs> something. It's missing a little boom shakalaka. He is a very angry man. He hated you, really. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little. Boom shakalaka lacking. I don't know. I, I feel like he's not too upset. Like, <laughs> I feel like he and I kind of get along, but. Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a true. He's also very manipulative. Dish. I could see that. Something like sea serpent salad, stir fried kings in flour. Or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus. <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. Mm. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look. All right. But yeah, no, he definitely seems like a it's my way or the highway kind of person. And a lot of these, and like, you know, in the way he teaches, it's like, well, if you don't want to do it by my method, then, you know, you can go find another teacher or whatever. That, that's, that's kind of the mentality that he gives off sometimes.
It's like, I, I guess I, you know, I understand, you know. If... Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, I will say, like, you know, if you're not comfortable with X teacher and his, like, and the teaching style, then I can probably say, yeah, you might want to go ahead and just find another teacher, but, like... I don't know. I, 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 I like... Like, you know, you, you, you take lessons with the person that you want to sound like. So, I mean, you know, to be fair, is he, is he a jerk about that one? Yes, absolutely. However, he's also still, right? He's not fun to deal with. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there's a lot of nodding your head and agreeing. That goes into taking lessons with him. Yeah, but he can't sing anymore, LMAO. <laughs> no, that's true. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, exquisite chest. There we go. No, come on. No. I don't know. It's, it's hard to figure out what exactly... There's a lot of things. I don't know. I think he's gonna get me to a place needs that I want to be in for when I hit a certain level. But then I also think Ray, that like after a fate. certain point, I will be excited to move past him and see if I can find another teacher. If that makes sense. Because he is helping me out with a lot of things that I tend to struggle with in a very weird way. That and I'm very good at nodding my head. The hunter. Uh, somebody's injured. <laughs> so, so cold. He's shivering. We need to warm him up quick. Make a fire. Hot soup would be even better. I have hot soup. How about I look after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? We passed a hillitro camp on the way here. There'll almost certainly be a campfire there to cook on. Sure. Water. Great. Be as quick as you can. Take the soup. Oh wait, that's the wrong button. Uh. Take the soup. Mm. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. What yes. Happened? I was chasing a boar. And after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regis vine. Ooh. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but. I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? They do now. I'd heard of them before from what? others. But this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. The dialogue was entirely wrong from the text box, and then it made no sense after he followed up. What? How big was it? They do now. <laughs> Yikes. We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds delicious. Uh, I don't like either of these options. That's it! The missing ingredient! The icing on the cake! Amazing. Calm down! Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Yes. Only one way to find out. We can. Let's go! <sighs> Off she goes again. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. I'm sure she is. That's all right. Ooh, look at all that. Time to act. Come on, chest. I'm just gonna ignore these guys. Go into the uh, the area. Perfect. Perfect team. Uh, 
Man. Slow down. It's dangerous in here. Ingredients don't stay fresh for long. Yeah. No, my soul, body, and mind. There's a dude up there. Can I can I get to him? Apparently not. Um Let's see. This is a very interesting dilemma. Can I no I can't. Hmm. Let's see, what do I do here? I've got three different specials I can use. One might be able to reach. It's kind of a Let's see what happens. Well, it's hitting him. Not for enough, though. Oh, I can just break this. Okay, that makes way more sense. I'm ready to start doing some traveling. Get out of here for a while. I recently, um, I've been doing more rock climbing again because I've severely missed it. And I finally have, like, a partner to go top roping with again because that's been... I haven't had a partner in, like, it feels like a couple of years. And they mentioned something to me today, like, hey... We should go do outdoor climbing. And I was like, oh my god. You're right. Um, which I have a couple of friends that live over in uh, Maryland who are like very, 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 very good climbers. And they're the kind of people I could easily trust to be like, hey, we want to do like something that's kind of challenging, but like not to the point where, you know, if we're, somebody's going to die in the process. You know. That didn't work, did it? Um, I have another very, very temporary solution, which may or may not work. <laughs> land here. Oh! Guess I can't land there. Cool. Right, let's try this again. And, like right on the edge. Okay, that didn't work. Cool.
got an achievement for that. Just like a secret, it's like, oh, you see that foggy passageway? You can totally go and explore that. Ah! Not that, didn't do the trick. I was planning on sending him over the cliff, not myself. Alright, that's it for my tea for today. That's the second time that's happened today. I wonder if it's like an eyelash falling into my eye. That's what it feels like. <laughs> it's very much not a fun feeling. This looks like... Huh. Interesting. Oh, okay. I see how this one works. You gotta put the thing right here in the center. And then he'll light each one of them individually. Awesome! Here we get to fight some giant boss after burning through one of my big specials. Help me put him in his place. Uh, let's see. Carnivorous plants that use their alluring appearance of flowers to deceive their prey. Their vine-like stalk are surprisingly cut, tough to cut through. Perhaps the organ shaped like a cryocord growing near their roots could be the key to defeating them. Okay. Neat. Thank you. Talking about this thing over here, covered in ice. I'm the fry pan. <laughs>
Might as effective as I hope to be, but. Oh! I see. character time even better if it's paired with a bit of swine wash him down with a glass of wine <laughs> your version just ruins it oh well gee thanks wait there's something else here too this must be the boy that hunter was chasing but paimon's never seen one with this pattern before where have i seen this before hmm aha uh -huh. It was in the Historia Naturalis of Liyue. This pattern is unmistakable. It belongs to a breed of boar that went extinct 300 years ago. Wow. Amazing. How is this one still alive after so long? It won the genetic lottery. Paimon's pretty sure that's <laughs> not really possible. I read that this boar was hunted to extinction because its meat was so highly prized. Condensate of jumbo cryo slime and extinct boar. Not one, but two priceless treasures. Right now, let's get back to Springvale. All right, almost done with this mission. It took us a while, but almost there. There, while I'm sitting here, let me see if I can grab that link for you. There it is. And then you're somewhere around here-ish. All right. And since I'm around here, is there anything I should be looking out for? Ideally, a teleportation waypoint would be super nice, which I think I see one on that hill. Just to activate, so that way I can always come back here if I need to. I don't want to travel this far away and then all of a sudden not have anything to do. Also, I think after I finish this mission, I'm going to go ahead and change up the game that I'm playing tonight. I think that this is, this is a good place to end for this particular game. Oh, that's not at all what I thought it was. Oh well. Okay, I can totally do this, just not with this character. Uh, claim that. Thank you. Party setup. Change our party to... Oh wait, we can't even set up this team, because expeditions. Right, um... Well, there's a terrible solution here. Alright. What a horrible way of completing that challenge. <laughs> the ideal way of, the, of doing it is you just pull out a bow and arrow and you do it that way. But in this case, I was not wanting to do that. So I just went ahead and swung my sword at it over and over again. And then head over here. Ah. Someone needs assistance.
how's the mission going? What's up? Uh, are you sure this is Springvale? Uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. <laughs> oh, I see. He's also ancient. That like is the not board. possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. They're the same dude. This is strange. What is going on? Surely it couldn't be. What is it? This hunter is also a survivor from 300 years ago. What? Can humans really live that long? Yes, if they win the genetic uh, lottery. Does that really make sense? Oh, like the way that you keep food fresh. Still, it's hard to believe. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation. Okay, so what's your... Olaf. What's your... <laughs> Olaf? I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. They are related. I knew I it. I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. So, a great, 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 great grandfather, but with a whole lot more greats? <laughs> they don't look so distantly what related. What an unusual turn of events. <laughs> Reunited at long last. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Ah, yes, that reminds me. Rook told me about the competition, and I've set everything up at the venue. You should come with me. You should come with me. And he goes. And I, I chase Someone after needs them. I'll catch up. I do find it quite interesting that, like, they're like, oh, let's all go to the venue together. And then they, they I just have to walk there. Someone needs assistance. They, they all warp there immediately, and I'm, I'm, I'm over here on my feet. We're ready to cook. Are you? I was born ready. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the competition. Then let the cooking commence. I will be your judge today. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Much appreciated. Well then, Traveler, Paimon, prepare. Wait, prepare. we're taking part in this too? Of course. If Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine. I'll need you by my side when the going gets tough. Maybe. Uh, Paimon doesn't remember applying for that job. Well, I guess there's no backing out okay, now. Okay, Paimon I do will like do cooking. it for the sake of the food. This game still doesn't have a, a, a fishing minigame. Uh, help her out in the cooking showdown. Go somewhere around here-ish. Oh, I can't squeeze through there. Okay, yes, I can. Our first problem is ingredients. We need something special to dress up the steak. But I don't have anything suitable here. Hmm. I've got it. Radish is what we need. Mashed or grated, it'll add a touch radish. of freshness. I have and radishes. we can carve little flowers out of it as a garnish. Two birds, one stone. Go find me a radish. There should be some in the area. Oh, and make sure you wash it because it's going straight into the dish. Let's wash the radish in the river. All right, go, go into the river. River washed radish. <gasps> Slimes! Scared the bejesus out of my mind. Let's, let's ignore them. This is way too close to the venue. What if they stir up trouble during the competition? Great, I gotta go take care of the slimes. Never mind. Uh, I don't think we should risk it. Go get them! Yet. Why can't I walk through anything? Wowie! Big and luscious! Oh. It's perfect! Now, how about. This is a very interesting way to have Shall a conversation. We? Look out! The pan's on fire! Oh no! It's gonna burn! It's gonna burn! It's gonna burn! Get the fire under control! Without using water, though, or this dish is a goner! Uh, 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 uh. Bring the fire! How do I bring the fire down? Uh, with my E? Stay That's the wrong stone. character. That do the trick? I, I can't tell. Ugh, this is practically charcoal now. Oh, I'm gonna have to start from scratch. Also, I'm thinking our main is a little weak. We need to mix it up a bit. Make me a mushroom chicken skewer. And make sure it's got that ooh-la-la -la on the outside. Then hits you with the cha-ching in the middle. 
Paimon, translate. It freaking awesome. Amazing. I did it. Mm, you're a natural. The meat is on track, but we're aiming for perfection here, and I just think it lacks a certain... A certain what? A certain... Boom shakalaka! Amazing. Yes, definitely needs some boom shakalaka! Or perhaps a little shakalaka boom pow! Uh... I just mean it would be a waste of such amazing ingredients to just serve this as is. Let me see. Hmm, what would be ideal is some kind of regional specialty. Regional specialty? Yes, something that's native to this area but isn't often used in cooking. I don't care if it flies, crawls, or bounces. Even insects I can work with. Uh, interesting choice. Hmm, I'm sure I can make something of it. All right, then. Find suitable ingredients. Uh, do I have them? Probably. Uh, oh wait, no, that's not it. Uh, ah. Please, can we talk? Thanks, you guys. Now show me what you got. Give the cooking ingredients to her. Uh, yes, we got this lizard tail. Submit. Give. Uh, do you really want to add that? I don't know. It's a little odd. It'll be fine. This was an excellent find, guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, Chef Xiangling needs to concentrate. But I'll be sure to annoy you again if I need anything else. <laughs> it looks like Xiangling's main dish is almost done. Let's go and see. I almost forgot. Side dish. We need a side dish. Are you sure it's no trouble? Here, take this. I just scrolled it down at the last minute. And here are all the ingredients you need. Is this the recipe for that snack you gave us earlier? Yes, with some minor improvements so it uses up the leftover ingredients from Liwe. This is so complicated. How are we supposed to cook this with no experience? The technique doesn't matter. What matters is that you do it with passion. That's what my father taught me. And you must be passionate That's about cooking if you've helped about. me this much already. All of it is just about passion. It doesn't matter if there's technique involved or anything. All you have to do is have the passion, which means just go over there and hit the button. Leave it to me. Confident. I like it. Come on, this is the final push. Alright, here we go. Learn. And then we just gotta make, what is it, jade something or another. Boom. Cook. Oh, that's actually... Okay, that's a tight window. So that's a little bit trickier than... But still, it is just cooking. Cool. It's been done. Mm, they're so fragrant, I can smell them coming a mile away. We're all set. And now to serve the meal. This competition is ours. All right. Here we go. The final step for the whole thing. How's it looking, Draft? <sighs> this was a fine feast. I have dined today like I have never dined before. Both chefs' dishes today were nothing short of exceptional. They were true masterpieces. And that is what makes this an extremely difficult decision. But this is a competition, and there can only be one winner. And that winner is Shang Ling. Whoopee! I win! Amazing. <sighs> I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. But it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Uh, excuse me? Did you say this was cooked from extinct boar? Yep. Every last bit. Amazing. My goodness. A single mouthful must be worth a hundred thousand mora. The amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Anyway, now our judge has given his verdict, it's time for everyone else to eat too. I made plenty! Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish. Mmm, this is absolutely delicious. I'll admit it, I was beaten by the best. Losing is no fun, but it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling, oh. 
want some more. This is gorgeous, too. Such a perfectly layered texture. Were it not for that exquisite four and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat. Hmm. I will have a taste, too. Oh, my, oh, my. This is, <laughs> this is the taste of Springvale. Or rather, it used to be. That is some voice acting right there. This is the last time I will be able to taste the food of my era. Hey now, cheer up. If you like the taste, I can always make you some more. <laughs> really? But the boar, it's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. Putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Thank you. <laughs> a good time was had by all. Amazing. But everyone's gone now. Let's go and say goodbye to Zhang Ling. Uh, somewhere over there. -ish. There it is. Hello, Zhang Ling. Thanks, you guys. Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. And without you, Paimon wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Also, oh, wouldn't have gotten so full. Where are we going now? Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liyue, but I might change my plan on the way. I don't like to plan things too thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Zhang Ling's gone from Boom Shakalaka to Hakuna Matata. You are a gifted chef. You made huh. an amazing batch of jade parcels. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions, too. That's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> See you again soon. All right. And with that, I think that mission is complete. Yes, it is. Amazing. <laughs> Quest complete. So just a little underleveled here, but that's okay. Um, let's see. What other things can I make happen right now? We don't have any of those. We ain't got any of those. Still ain't got any of these. All right, I think it's time that we switch up games. I don't know. I don't think I have anything else I can really do in this game. So it's gonna just be me grinding it out for a while. Yeah, it looks that 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 looks like it's the case. So. Well, we're changing gears. Give me just one second here. First off, say hello. Hey. Hi. You mind? I'm about to play some Apex. I figured. Keep talking. Talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. Thank you. And then let me just go ahead and close off this game. I was streaming uh, Genshin Impact tonight, but you know. Yeah. All right. I just pulled Venti. Venti? Mm -hmm. Is that the archer person that everybody's talking about? No. That's the god. Oh, cool. The Sick. animal god. 